Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial for this anvil duper I made. I wanted to make an anvil duper in my survival series, um, but I couldn't find any good anvil duper on YouTube. Um, all anvil dupers I found were like you have to dupe some anvils, then they break in the overworld, and you have to go uh, into the end and um, collect the duped anvils, go back to the overworld, place them again, then you can run the machine for a couple seconds and repeat that. Um, um, so I came up with this design and it works um, in all versions since 1.11 and I think it will continue working in 1.19 and later. So let's check out the end side. Um, here you can see the anvils uh, fly to the sides from the spawn platform, land on this uh, slab, on these slabs and um, yeah, are collected by these hoppers and yeah, brought in this chest. Um, so as you can see, the uh, duper has a very good production rate. It produces um, exactly 10,800 anvils per hour, um, which is pretty good, I think. And as you can see, it doesn't produce any uh, damaged or chipped anvils. So um, yeah, if you need some anvils for building or yeah, you need anvils for enchanting, I think. Um, this is uh, the best um, way to get them. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, even though I'm mainly creating German content. But let's get started with the video. To build a duper you need a frameless end portal. I'll show how to remove the frame later in the video. And you need some materials. These materials down here are for the chunk loader. Uh, if you're playing in the version older than 1.16.2, you have to build another chunk loader, then simply search um, chunk loader and then your version on YouTube. Um, but you have to make sure the chunks in the overworld of the duper stay loaded, then the duper will uh, work in 1.11 and above. Um, and uh, yeah, for the duper you need a few building blocks, 8 slabs, 8 obsidian, 20 slime blocks, um, at least one anvil. You need a total of 6 for the duper, but you can dupe this one anvil, so you have 6. Um, 25 redstone dust, uh, 15 repeaters, 7 torches, redstone torches, 8 sticky pistons, um, 4 observers, a lever, 2 chests and 8 hoppers. Um, you can have more chests if you want. And uh, then uh, for the uh, chunk loader you need 4 rails, 2 detector rails, 2 powered rails, 2 redstone torches, 2 redstone blocks, a minecart, 2 dispensers, 2 hoppers, 10 obsidian for the portal, 2 cacti, uh, 2 sand, um, 2 jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, you can use any other solid block, but jack-o'-lanterns reduce uh, lag caused by light um, updates. Uh, uh, 28 glass, you can use uh, any other block instead, but I think with glass it looks nicer. And two trapdoors. So let's start with the overworld part of the duper. And first you have to go three blocks down on the center of the side of the portal, place a sticky piston and remove these blocks, place three slime on the piston and with one block with a one block gap, um, another block with a redstone torch on the side so the piston extends. Then place um, two blocks like this and a block uh, up here, two repeaters on two ticks and a redstone dust on that block. Then a block up here with a redstone torch on the side so this powers this redstone. And an uh, obsidian up here with um, two redstone dust on top and an sticky piston on the side, attach three um, slime blocks to that sticky piston and place three obsidian on top of the slime blocks. Then place a block up here and place a redstone torch so both pistons extend. Go down here and place two blocks. Then um, place a repeater on one tick, a repeater on four ticks and three blocks here like this with three redstone on top. An observer pointing upwards with a redstone on top, then a block here, a repeater on two ticks pointing in this block with a sticky piston next to it and four slime blocks. Then place two blocks uh, above the slime blocks and three slabs on the side and remove those two blocks. These slabs have to be in the top half of the block like uh, I built and then um, 
place one redstone on top of this block, a block up here and one here, a repeater on three ticks here, and a block on this slab with a piston and a observer pointing in this direction. So if the piston extends, this repeater is powered. Then repeat uh, this thing on the other side. If you have finished, connect those both um, pistons with a, a redstone line on top here and then build uh, the clock. Um, so place um, two repeaters on four ticks up here and one block here, one block here and a repeater on one tick here um, pointing into a block with a torch on top. And as you can see now, um, these uh, slime blocks move, these slime blocks um, uh, are retracted and extended again and uh, these slime blocks are extended two times every um, time this torch turns on. Now place a temporary lever down here to turn this off and um, now we gonna build the end side. To build the end side in the right direction, you have to be in the overworld and stand on this slime block looking to this side. Press F3 and then look up here, um, facing east. Remember this direction and uh, jump into the portal and rotate so you're looking in the same direction. Then go um, to this side, place a slab uh, on the center block of uh, the platform and um, two blocks on this side, one block here and two blocks above. Um, then repeat this on the other side and um, after that place a chest down here with um, one block gap here so you can open the chest and uh, place some hoppers pointing into the chest uh, and collecting items from these slabs like this and like this. So you have two hoppers, this hopper and this hopper pointing in the chest because the tube is so fast one hopper isn't enough to um, yeah, put all items into this chest. Now we are done with the end part and we only have to build the uh, chunk loader. The chunk loader I'm using was designed by Il Mango, link uh, in the description. And it only works, uh, as I said earlier, in 1.16.2 and above. If you're in an earlier version, search for another chunk loader on YouTube. To build it, um, go two temporary blocks out from here and then start building your portal here, um, like this. And um, lighten your portal, go through and see where we come out. Nice, a new portal. And go back into the overworld, then um, place a redstone block um, on this side at that height and uh, a powered rail on top. Then uh, your jack-o'-lantern um, with a redstone torch on the side and a detector rail on top. Then you need to place a dispenser like this and uh, a hopper um, pointing into the dispenser. Then two rails on top a uh, uh, block down here so your sand of the cactus won't fall down and place a cactus. Then place some glass up here and on the sides so the items won't fall out and um, yeah, place some glass here and here and then um, place a trapdoor up here um, because if you would place some glass the minecart would get stuck in it but if you um, leave one block more there might spawn monsters so um, yeah build it like that then go into the nether at exactly that um, uh, that block where the redstone block is so go in here then turn around and place um, your uh, second redstone block on this block. So if you're um, yeah, um, standing uh, going backwards into the portal and the redstone block directly behind you, the redstone block in the nether is di directly um, in front of you. So um, 
now uh, uh, build the exact same thing uh, again. So if you are done, go back into the overworld and um, put your minecart in this dispenser. Then go to this side and um, take some of your blocks, place one block down here and a second block down here. Um, take some redstone and place one redstone here. Um, remove this uh, lever and place a redstone down here and put the red uh, lever on this side and flick it and um, I forgot something you have to place uh, a solid block down here so the redstone is cut off but uh, otherwise you could use glass or a solid block um, too and uh, now your system is off if you turn uh, flick this lever you should see the minecart um, going through the portal and returning every couple seconds and um, also this machine is working. To run the duper, place your anvil on this slime block, stand on this piston so you don't fall into the end, and flick this lever. Wait until the minecart returns uh, so the chunk loader starts to load um, the area where the duper is built, and then go through the portal. Um, and the duper in the overworld will continue um, duping. Don't wait for too long uh, in the overworld, otherwise there might be too many anvils in the end and your game might crash if you enter the end because uh, the end isn't loaded uh, while you aren't there and uh, the anvils um, yeah, will all be uh, at the center if you're into the end. So um, yeah, then wait until you have enough anvils, at least six, Go back onto the overworld and uh, place your anvils. Um, when you turn the machine off, you can place them on those slime blocks down there. Six in the total and then flick the lever again. Wait until the minecart returns. Go to the end and yeah, you can AFK now and yeah, get your anvils. <laughs> The method to remove the portal frame I'll show you doesn't work in 1.13 and uh, 1.14. So if you want to remove the portal frame in those versions, you have to do a similar thing to removing bedrock, which is much more complicated than this method. So for this method, build um, three blocks like this and down here a pozzo block, then place a red mushroom on that block and uh, four temporary blocks, a fifth block, remove those four blocks and then bone meal this mushroom so it'll grow into the frame and you have removed the frame, repeat that on every side and you have a frameless portal. Now I'm gonna explain uh, how it works that the anvils don't break. So anvils have a 5% chance of breaking per block they have fallen down. So um, if I let an anvil uh, yeah, fall down this 20 blocks high um, tower, uh, the anvil breaks because it has a 100% chance of breaking. But if I let an anvil fall down only one block, it actually has a 0% chance of breaking instead of a 5% chance. So um, yeah, the only thing you have to do is make sure that anvils um, yeah, don't fall further than one block and uh, they won't break. So um, as you can see here, that's what I'm doing. So I'm catching the anvils up here, then they fall down one block to here, fall one down one block to here, and down here they fall a little part of a block down, then um, fly up, and then they fall a half block down up here, so it's less than a full block, and the chance is still 0%. And um, yeah, the duping bug is uh, that the anvils from here are pushed to this side, and yeah, the falling block entities um, go into the portal in the exact same tick when the anvil is converted to a block again. So you have um, falling uh, anvils in the end, and an anvil block in the overworld uh, when you only have one anvil before. So um, this is how it works. 
Thanks for watching and goodbye.